Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Tottenham against Manchester United. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beckman has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. the lineups for this game Away. Lo Celso, Bergwin, now it's Kane, Van der Beek boots it upfield, Ronaldo knocks it towards the front, a chance, They've managed to get it away, Alex Tellez, Passes it through. Great leap! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. I oh, couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Forward it goes. Turns and goes back. Romero. Really good. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. <laughs> Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Looks like a good ball through. The defence can get it clear. Massive leap! Goal! Manchester United! Manchester United take the lead! <laughs> Great header, made it look easy. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Manchester United draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Now the pass. Ronaldo has a go! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Oh, that's great stuff from him. He's been a joy to watch, and, and that didn't miss by much. He'll be back. Cristiano Ronaldo. Thrust towards the front line. Maguire comes sliding in. Deli Alley. Ball is over the line. Looks to slip it through. Goalkeeper's ball. Moran battles to win it back. Kane with the ball through. And he's there to cut it out. Maguire tries to get it forward quickly. And the whistle goes for half time. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Manchester.
That's the start of the second half. Manchester United carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Away from immediate danger. An absolute thunderbolt! A finish right from the top draw. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, he perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Manchester United get themselves... Deli Alley has been caught there, it's a foul. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Aimed forward. Tries a through ball. Who's going to make this theirs? Davis. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity. They are rampant! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Who was urged to shoot? And he duly delivered. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. With some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Aurier. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Ronaldo has a go! Ronaldo! Superb! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! What about that, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserved to. Manchester United tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Now it's Kane. Brown needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Alex Tellez, Ronaldo, is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, uh, from getting another. In it goes! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. Tottenham have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Cristiano Ronaldo, a class apart, out on his own. And still they continue with the onslaught. 
it's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. And it's Kane. Kane showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Now it's Kane. Endembele. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And the referee brings it to a close. Manchester United were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?